Hello, friends. Welcome to Purposeful Leadership. I'm your host and the discoverer of the discovery, if you like, Jeff Pelletier. This is the place for you to come to learn about life's core purpose and how to apply it to life. We call it life's core purpose because it's about your whole life. It's not about your calling or your mission statement or your personal vision or your sweet spot. You come here to learn the two most important things you'll ever know about yourself that when used together are your life's core purpose. Life's core purpose is foundational for all assessments, callings, careers, and missions you might have. And if you know your strength themes, life's core purpose can help you with that too. It will never change. If you don't know yours, you've come to the right place. And if you've already discovered your life's core purpose, you've come to the right place. So let's get to it. Hello, friends. This is Jeff Pelletier, spending some time with you about life's core purpose. I just thought I'd uh, do a little podcast here, give you some info. I think it's uh, a powerful, powerful tool for your life, especially in these times of uncertainty. Uh, You know, life's core purpose is a constant in your life that you discover. It's already true. Uh, Your core competence is what you do really well. It's a cognitive skill. We help you find that. And then your core passion is what you really care most about in life. And when you pursue what you care most about in life and do that by using what you are really great at, that cognitive skill, that core competence, uh, you pretty much have an effective, joyful life in all of life. It's a really great way to understand yourself and to be effective and joyful. And when you find a job where you get to bring that core competence and achieve or fulfill uh, what you care most about in life, when those two things are happening, uh, it's it's the kind of job that you would do for free. You, You almost are, you know, I can't believe I get paid to do this. So that's, uh, that's kind of what life's core purpose is. It's not a calling, it's not a mission, and it's not a vision. It's a fundamental, foundational core of who you are, what you're really great at, and what you really care about. And when those two things are together, you have a joyful, effective, and effective, joyful life. And uh, I live my life that way, and it's a really great life. I, I feel useful almost all the time. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, but it's not a calling, it's not a mission, and it's not a vision. So a calling is something that you can't not do. A calling is something you feel compelled to do in your life. And that's an important thing uh, to understand. A calling is an inner voice that says you need to do this. But if you don't bring those two things to it, to your calling, you very likely aren't going to succeed as well as if you did bring those two things. So that calling, you know, whatever it is, whatever you you feel called to do, uh, you should do it, of course. You should do it, of course. And it's an inner longing. It's an inner longing. I feel like I'm supposed to go to Zimbabwe and drill for fresh water for the people there. I feel called to join the Peace Corps, so I'm going to do that. But that's two years of your life. That's just two years of your life, but you will have achieved your calling. Recently, William Shatner, the Star Trek uh, Captain Kirk, was called, literally called, uh, by... uh, um, Amazon, uh, what's his name, Jeff uh, Bezos, uh, to go for free on a trip to outer space at age 90. He was called to do that. And he fulfilled that calling. And, you know, if you listen to him talk about it, it's pretty amazing how it fulfilled that calling in his life. But that's, that's what a calling is. A mission, a mission is different from a calling. A mission is a, is a result that you're supposed to achieve. 
You know, you hear the words, mission accomplished. That's what a mission is. A mission is something you're supposed to achieve. And when you achieve it, mission accomplished. So I, I started out on a mission. I felt called to be, I, f I felt called to, to help people uh, uh, achieve uh, their potential. And I, and, I, and I set out on a mission to create uh, a way for that to happen with my life. And I did that with consulting. And I did that with life's core purpose. Those are two missions that I've accomplished that helped me achieve that calling in my life. And then a vision. A vision is different. Uh, a vision is a state. It's not like Wyoming. It's a, it's a state of, uh, of, of existence. It's, it's a way the world looks at you. When, when Walt Disney was standing in Orlando, Florida, looking at the swamp, he could see the Magic Kingdom. That's a vision. He could see Epcot, experimental prototype community of something tomorrow, of tomorrow. That's what it was, Epcot. He could see that in his mind's eye. That's a vision, completely different. So, so uh, purpose, calling, um, purpose, calling, mission, and vision. Purpose is what you're really great at, pointed at what you truly care about. And when you do that purpose in your calling, in your mission, in your vision, you are excellent and joyful in it. And that's a really important thing. People get calling and mission and vision mixed up with purpose. Purpose, your core passion, is, is your chief concern for the world. It's why you've been created, to bring that particular need or that particular state, or that particular element, or that particular value, or that particular uh, uh, element of existence, like peace or joy. These are just examples. I knew a guy whose who's, uh, his core passion was common sense. So it's whatever you decide it is. It's whatever drives you. But that guy wants people, he wants the world to have more common sense. Because if the world has more common sense, it's going to be a better place. So he's focused on using his core competence, which I forget what it is, to bring more common sense to the world. But that's his core passion. Okay. Uh, so, uh, next thing I want to talk about is uh, purpose and teams. So, uh, life's core purpose, as I said, uh, is, is uh, your core competence pointed at causing your core passion uh, in the world. Uh, that's before I, before I talk about that, uh, lifescorepurpose.com, lifescorepurpose.com, lifescorepurpose.com. Click on Find Yours, then click on Start Here. And at, when you click on Start Here, below that, right before you, before you click on Start Here, you'll see... Uh, a podcast link, which which will explain uh, how you can save uh, lots of money. So uh, you might want to listen to that podcast. Uh, it's a short podcast, eight minutes, takes you right through it. How you can uh, save money and find purpose. Actually, join our purpose community for free. I think. Uh, but anyway, uh, click on that podcast. So lifescorepurpose dot com. Find yours right before you click on start here. Uh, click on listen to the podcast to save great money, and uh, you'll appreciate that. So anyway, uh, back to purpose and teams. So the things that are aligned, the things that are aligned in uh, purpose with teams is passion. You want to be with a group of people whose passion is similar to yours. It doesn't have to be the same. But it needs to be similar to yours. And your competences, your competencies, your core competencies should be different. Some of them might be the same, but it's really beneficial if your core competencies are different and your passions are the same. Because with the passion, not exactly the same, but similar. If your passion, if you're aligned with people with similar passion, you're united on the cause 
And if your if your core competencies are complementary, you bring different skill sets to the achievement of the cause you all align with. And that's how Life's Core Purpose works with teams. You can contact me at Jeff at Life's Core Purpose. Jeff at Life's Core Purpose. Uh, if you want to do that for free, I'd I'd be willing to work with you on that uh, with a like a, a team of people uh, to help you understand. And of course, this affects recruiting. Uh, this affects recruiting. You want uh, you want people that have similar passion. And by the way, uh, if if the company's mission or the company's vision is the alignment that everybody has, that's cool. That's fine. And then you bring in differently skilled people uh, that that are, that uh, supplement or complement each other, and you have what's called a really effective team. Uh, but if the uh, if the if the passion alignment has to do with a uh, a value of the company or the vi- or, or a vision of the company, and everybody aligns with that, uh, yeah. That's, I mean, I'm talking about core passion now. I'm not talking about, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm talking about, no, 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 I want to be part of that. That's what, that's what a passion is, okay? That's what a passion is. And guess what? Not everybody, uh, you don't just hire anybody. Of course, in my consulting practice, I, I, I say it's easier to hire the right person than it is to train the wrong one. So who you hire, hiring the right people is the most important thing you'll ever do. And I can talk to you about that if, if you want to. I, I, I still do some consulting, but if you're interested in that, I'd be happy to talk to you about it. Jeff at LifeScorePurpose.com. Jeff at LifeScorePurpose.com. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. So that's purpose and teams. That's how that's how teams and purpose work together. Uh, so uh, uh, let's talk about the career track real quick. Uh, and then uh, I guess we'll be done for today. The career. So once you find your life's core purpose, once you find your life's core purpose, you want to uh, you want to um, get a job where that purpose is in play, where your life's core purpose is what you actually do. And I have created the career track, which is five videos. The first one, by the way, is free. Uh, The career track will do you no good at all until you've discovered your life's core purpose. So you should go to lifescorepurpose.com and uh, click on find yours. And then before you click on start here, uh, listen to the podcast. And then then you'll know that you'll save a bunch of money. But uh, it tells you uh, in that podcast how to come back to the how to come back to the website after you join the, the community and and uh, you click on a red button and it says uh, go here to to uh, to uh, find out about uh, the career track. And if you click on the trailer when you go to the career track, it's at vimeo.com by the way, the career track. If you go to the career track and click on the, the uh, trailer, it's a nine minute video of how you look at the world differently once you know your life's core purpose. How you look at your job differently once you know your life's core purpose. It's a nine-minute video. It's the first video in the five, and it's free. It's a nine-minute video. You'll learn a ton about what the rest of the videos, uh, how how the rest of the videos help you. But it it, it teaches you right away how how to see your career differently once you understand your life's core purpose. It's a very important thing. It, the, see, the reason this, this is important for you is because your life's core purpose is a constant. My friend Joe Del Rigno is working in a biotech company as the VP of marketing. Before that, he was working in consumer foods. Before that, uh, he was working in personal care contract manufacturing. And the reason he's able, the reason he's able to, to go from consumer uh, uh, products manufacturing to food to biotech, not exactly an easy jump three times, completely different industries. He's a, the reason he's able to do that is because his life's core purpose permits him to do that. And he can sell that so he can get a job in any company because he knows his life's core purpose. He's the, he's the global marketing vice president. 
in a biotech company because of that. So it's, it's the, the, the world is changing quickly, folks, drastically, folks. And the first video in the Career Track talks about this. If you don't adapt, you die. If you're 20 years old, you have to learn this now. If you're in college and you learn your life's core purpose in college, think of what that does to your preparation. Pretty cool thing. Okay, so the career track. The first, the first video is free. Talks about how to think about your career differently. The second video talks about how to pick the right company for you and do the research to do that. And the third one is how do I market myself to that right company? How do I communicate through letter and resume, etc. how to do that. So I so that I get a so that I get an interview, right? Right? The interview, the purpose of a resume is to get an interview, right? And then the interview, we talk about it, we have a separate video on how to do the interview using your life's core purpose. And the interview is what gets you the offer. And then we talk about the offer. What do you do with the offer? And how do you accept the offer? How do you negotiate the offer? Do you even negotiate the offer? And and uh, then then you then we talk about how to onboard yourself. <laughs> how do I onboard myself? Which companies most companies don't do well. They don't onboard people well. But my daughter, God bless her, just got a, a new job, and they onboarded her amazingly well. So you never know. Sometimes it's done really well, but there are things that I told her, my daughter, that she needed to do, and she did them. And because she did them, she onboarded herself really well. So you need to take control of that process when you get the job. And then once you work in a company where your passion aligns with the company and your competence aligns with the job, get out of your way because you are going to be amazing. So anyway, uh, I think that's all I want to talk about with you guys today. So uh, it's been uh, it's been fun. It's been real. I've enjoyed it. Uh, Lifescorepurpose.com. Lifescorepurpose.com. Check it out. Find yours. Okay. Be at peace. Bless you. <laughs>